In this new world video, I'm gonna show you my golden scarab run, my solo golden scarab run. These golden scarabs can only drop in brimstone sands at the moment, and of course there's only a few places that can drop these golden scarabs. These elite areas can drop golden scarabs, like these ones here, and of course this one in the corner here as well. But I'm not going to cover those, those are the places that you farm with a group, but to farm Golden Scarab solo, you will have to loot all of the ancient glyph chests and of course loot those golden scarabs at silver pools. A user by the name of Persino's Triple Free data mined the drop rates of the golden scarab and he says that the drop rate of the golden scarab in a silver pool is about 7% to 7.4% if you have max luck and in a lead area the golden scarab drop rate is 4% and if you loot these ancient glyph chests, it's only 2%. So we're gonna start here in the corner and work our way down. I'll place a map here on the screen so you can see the route that we're going to follow. But you can go to a Turner map and follow my route that I made. Just search for Solo Golden Scarab Run dash Fusion Thunder or just search my name Fusion Thunder and my route will pop up and you can follow along with my route. Before you start this run, you're going to require all the glyphs in the game. So make sure that you have done all the glyphs in brimstone sand and collected all of your glyphs so you can unlock the ancient glyph chest. Another thing you're going to require is acid resistance armor. So just use a throwaway armor set like your void band armor or any other type of armor and slot in some acid resist. You can craft the chitin padding at the weaponsmith station. So here's the recipe for it. Just make sure you have some on your armor and place it in the gem slot. So again, here's the route that we're going to follow. I'll just place it on the screen. So we're going to start at the top, work our way down. But just remember, you can use the shrines to teleport and make the route a little bit easier and faster for yourself. So you don't just have to run the full route. Please do recall to your house and settlement to make this route as fast as possible. This route will take us about 45 minutes to an hour to run. So now let's get to running the route. I'm going to start the full run. Of course, with this run, I'm not going to use the, the shrines to teleport. Since I'm just going to show the full run and some people don't want to teleport. But of course, you can use teleport when you run this golden scarab run. And I usually use teleportation for my runs, but... I'm just going to show the full run without teleportation so that some people can save Azov and so forth. Before we start the run, you need some acid resistance and of course some flint and some wood just to place down some camps. So the run just started and we're going to see how long it takes us. So let's get to it. In the top right corner you can see I also have a minimap. For some people might want to see where I'm running and follow along with the video so you can see on the minimap where's my current location. I'll also open up my map time to time so you can see the actually the landmarks. This is our first location. I'm going to have to run up here and teleport upstairs. You should have finished the main story mission to access this uh, this uh, this glyph. Can you just go back where you came from. Here's the next one, as you saw I just ran up the mountain there, or from the mountain to down here.
So here with the next location, you can pop your incense if you want. We're gonna do it. Looks like somebody already looted this box, so we don't have to fight a creature. But usually you will have to fight somebody. Or oh, okay, just respawn. Here I'm just gonna run away since these creatures has a range attack and I keep standing in the asset. Okay, we attack. Now here you can decide to teleport to the next location, but I'm just going to run it, so you can use this teleportation to teleport to this one, and it will be much closer to your next destination. So yeah, I think any sensible person will do that, so let's just do it. So we're going to teleport to this line. And our next box will be in this general area here. So here you're going to loot another glyph. There's another one this way. You can loot that box if you want. So there's another one this way. We have to parkour. So next we're gonna go here, then we're gonna run back again. So this is a little bit tedious. Or you can even skip this one box if you want, but I always loot it. Since it's just one daily run. So here I would usually just recall to my house and teleport to a teleporter but in this case I'm just gonna run back to the teleporter. So our next location is going to be in this area. Usually I'll just wait the behind these little pillars to pull them up out of the asset. And we're done. Next we're gonna go to the next asset pool is in this area here. Make sure to place a camp down here when you arrive to these asset pools. Looks like somebody already bolted the camp here, it, but he didn't finish it. So let's just complete it. Just 
just use this rock to aggro the mobs near you so you don't fight in the asset. Use the next chest. Use this little rock to aggro the mob as well. Line of sight it. And we're done with this area. We're going to move on to the next one, which is this area here. To line of sight this mob. Again, here you just line up side the mob. line of sight the mob here so from here you just jump down this mountain Here's our next box. Just gonna deal with this archer. Next, we're going to go to this elite area. If you can't solo the elite area, don't go to it. But I'm going to try and solo it. If I can't solo it, I will just skip it and move on to my next boxes. Sometimes there's a lot of people farming the monsters in the elite area and you can solo all of the chest but it, uh, there's at least one chest that you can can definitely solo Always take a camp here or make your own camp since this is a very dangerous area and you might even die. 
Here you just want to kill the mobs one by one and not overwhelm yourself with all of the mobs to kill. Watch out for these bubbles, they will knock you. In this slime you can just jump up and you will go a little bit faster. Here spawns a boss, so watch out for the boss. Next we're going to go this way and loot our final chest in this area. So we're going to go upstairs here. Now we're going to go to the sulfur area. Make sure to place a camp here. So here's your next box. Of course, just line of sight the boss or the the mob. Don't be afraid to use potions since you get a lot of potions from this chest as well. So don't be cheap and not use your potions while in this asset area. If you're done here, you can just recall to your house and teleport up here. So let's just recall. Now we're gonna teleport on this shrine. So once we're here, we can start looting some chests in this area. First we're going to loot one here and then one at the asset pools. Make sure to take camp here, you can also die. Hey, we got a golden scarab. This cliff here only spawns at night, but I'm going to show it to you even though it's daytime. So you can only open this cliff chest if it's night. And there's also a little mini boss inside here. And so this is really situational if you can loot this or not. 
So as you can see, you can only loot this during night time. And they will also spawn a scorpion here, a mini boss. So just be careful. Here's our next one, one of our last ones. Next we're gonna have to teleport to the settlement. So here we're going to have to teleport back to the settlement. Since I don't have a teleportation or a house there, I'm going to recall to my house in Emmonskill. Once you're back in the settlement of Brimstone Saints, you're going to run outwards to the elite area. We're just gonna loot a few boxes, we're not gonna loot the elite area. This elite area you can do with a two man, but you can't really do it solo since the mobs are just too strong. It's also an elite area down here that you can loot, but you will have to do it with a group. Here's our next location. The cliff will be inside this this broken wall. For our last area to loot, we're gonna loot this the elite zone, where the scarab that spawns here. If the boss is up, don't do it. If it's not up, in and it usually isn't up. Just go and loot the chest inside. And of course you can only loot these chests during the daytime. And we're done with the run, so this run probably took us like an hour, but we didn't use the way shrines to teleport, so if you have a few houses you can use recalls just to teleport to the shrines and your time will probably be cut in half, but yeah it took us an hour just to do this golden scarab run. What we got is one golden scarab, which, we, which is really unlucky. So this is all the loot we got from here to here is all the loot we got and from here to here is all the loot that we we got. We also got lots of gems, some resources and a few glyphs. Now that you have your golden scarab, here's how you can calculate how many crafts you need to craft to craft a best in slot item with your golden scarab.